my dear sisters, your excellencies, first ladies of Africa, credible ministers here present, the chairman of the executive board of MAC, Professor Frank Stadabor Hanva Park, senior government officials, the CEO of MAC Foundation, Senator Rasa Kelegi, doctor, members of the media. It gives me immense pleasure to join you all today. And I hope you and your families and countries are safe and healthy. I would like to take this opportunity to greatly acknowledge our precious platform and this value partnership that we have with my foundation as ambassadors modern and model since 2017. I wish to state that I am proud to be part of this long-term partnership and this continuous commitment by Mark Foundation to advance the healthcare capacity and reshape the public healthcare sector in my country. This was done by providing specialty training for local doctors, as well as training the mentorship program for media partners to improve their critical role in effective community awareness. This capacity building program started in 2017. And in a very short time, we have made a significant impact. This year, I am pleased to inform that together with Mark Foundation, my office in collaboration with the Ministry of Health provided more than 30 scholarships to young Gambian doctors in many critical and understaffed specialties, including fertility, oncology, diabetes, preventive cardiovascular, anthropology, sexual and reproductive medicine, respiratory medicine, and accurate medicine, which are very critical uh, for addressing the challenges posed by COVID-19. Given the fact that one of my key priorities area in health care is the issue of maternal and reproductive health, 18 scholarships have been provided for fertility training as well as a postgraduate degree in sexual and reproductive medicine. This had contributed significantly to transforming women's health in general, but also reproductive and fertility care especially, in order to help stop the rate of neonatal deaths. The support from MAC was extended to including training on neonatal medicine as well and we are all proud of this significant achievement. I'm also looking forward to enrolling more doctors in the new specialties that are needed in our countries and offered by Mark Foundation, such as rheology, preatic, internal medicine, gastroenterology, rheumatology, pain management, and others. Despite the progress made relative to healthcare professionals, we felt that the need to also focus on a bit needs to be on patient to improve upon doctor-patient relations. For this reason, the first annual meeting summit was held virtually to follow up and discuss our joint capacity buildings and development programs that aim to transform the landscape of patient care for the better. Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, with regards to education, together with Mark, we have launched three children's storybooks with significant messages. Musa's stories emphasizes on the strong family values of love and respect for a young age, which will reflect on eliminating the stigma on fertility that possibly results in domestic violence in the future. The book Educating Mariama emphasizes on the importance of empowering girls through education, which results, resulted in a new initiative to render support to 20 unprivileged but brilliant school girls as a means to ensure that they stay in school and complete their education journey. Lastly, the story to make the right choice aims to raise awareness about coronavirus prevention measures among children and youth as it provides facts about the pandemic and how to stay safe and healthy during the breakdown. My foundation have sent 30,000 copies of these storybooks, which have been distributed to students in schools, 
and will make a huge difference in creating a cultural shift. Furthermore, we also commence, commence the first media health online training and celebrate the winners of the Mark Foundation Media Recognition Award. This will be repeated every year to help strengthen the important and critical role of media when sensitizing our communities about many social and health issues, such as breaking infertility stigma, ending child marriage, supporting girls' education, amongst others. Gambians and African youths need to be encouraged at every opportunity, hence this year, we have proudly launched eight important categories of two awards, including Best Media Song, Film and Fashion Awards for Modern and Moda, and Promoting Healthy Lifestyle Media Awards for Media Musicians, Fashion Designers, Filmmakers, Students, and New Potential Talents in these fields. I look forward to meeting more winners this year. Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, as Mark Foundation Modern and Modern Ambassador, I will continue to work in collaboration with our ministries to sensitize our communities and rural areas to support girls' education and to break the stigma around fertile, infertile women. We intend to continue to empower them through access to information, education, health, and and change of mindset. I would like to conclude by stating that it was a pleasure meeting Senator Dr. Rasa Kelly in the March Foundation office recently this year, during which we discussed our ongoing programs. We reviewed their, reviewed their impact and agreed to initiate a new program to support people living with disabilities. Therefore, I look forward to our continued partnership with Mark Foundation to further address the health and social challenges in our country for years to come. I thank you all for your kind attention. The entire Mark Foundation team for continuous support. Thank you.